I see feelings is a lot like this. This is our fire, right? And when we have a fire, we can cook our food on it. We can stay warm by it. We gather around it and tell stories. It becomes a place of connection, right? But what makes this fire a place where we can cook our food and tell our stories and connect? What about this fire makes that possible? It's contained. It's contained. It's in a container. And that container keeps the fire in, right where we want it, right? And then we can, we can be near it and we can feel safe, right? It's similar with emotions. For emotions to thrive and be ex expressed, they need to be expressed in a container. Sometimes that container is just me and I'm cool and I can feel my emotions and be like, ooh, I'm feeling some shame right now. Like, be with that. Or, if, oh, I'm feeling sad or I'm feeling frustrated. And sometimes I can just hold that like, oh, sweetheart, I'm feeling so sad right now or really mourning that or you're ashamed or you're, oh man, you're really pissed right now. And sometimes I need support to hold a container, a healthy container to express and hold my emotions. And we are like design, we're like trained to be such individualists in this culture. We got to do it ourselves. Like I got to process my own stuff. I can handle my emotions, you know? It's not how we were designed. It's not how we evolved. And there are a couple different ways that it can go, right? Because this same fire that keeps us warm, keeps us feeling alive, vitally human, can also cause a fucking forest fire, right? If there's no container for our emotions and our emotions just explode out and there's no, nothing holding it, then we can do a lot of damage. Our emotions, without that sense of holding and container, can do a lot of damage. And then there's what many of us grew up with. <sighs> and we, we giggle about it because it hurts, right? We giggle about it because these like innocent beings full of emotion, full of love, full of rage and grief and, and wonder or shamed for having their feelings. We're shamed for doing what was so completely natural and had adults modeling for us either this or this, but very few of us had adults really consistently modeling this. And this will turn to this or cancer eventually, right? Either we can repress something long enough, we can repress our feelings long enough, and we become numb. And it's not our fault. It's not something to be ashamed of. It's something to just acknowledge that we have numbed ourselves to, to survive, to stay alive in a family system, in a, in a culture, in a society, in, in the military, in all in these places that do not welcome human beings feeling. Or they just, maybe anger is the okay thing to feel right, in, in, in certain situations. So bringing our attention back down into our body, giving ourselves permission to be feeling beings is one of the most revolutionary things we can do to, uh, to decolonize our lives, our, our interiors, and to um, take our humanity back from the way that we've been conditioned by in intensely patriarchal society.